Good morning. It's mid-October, uh, 76 right now, about nine in the morning. Time to get some things done. Who knows what? Just things. I have things on my list. I use my phone to remind me of things I'd like to do. How are you guys today? It is still, there's no breeze. I do love a breeze. Irrigation's on my mind today. I wanna look into my various forms of irrigation, why some are going over, why I lost some, how I might deliver my water a little bit better right now to certain pots. I found the way to clean the uh, pavers that I had been talking to you about yesterday. Apparently, vinegar and dishwater, uh, dish soap, like Dawn. I'm gonna try it, and a push broom. I think I have one of those. Tomorrow is 80. Today is gonna be 85, tomorrow's 80, and then we drop into the 70s and 60s. Please, please, please. And I am so looking forward to that. Today I'm going to investigate the irrigation in here and what's wrong with it, why it pours straight through to the ground, and it shouldn't be. My dear friend thinks the water from the emitters is just tunneling straight through and not spreading. It's not really how it works in the other bed, but the, the actual ground raised bed, but maybe that's just a difference in physics. <laughs> Geology, I don't know. Just kind of viewing things, looking at what should be done. I know I have a lot of random pots that sit around. But they're always gonna do something sometime soon, probably in the spring and summer. These have bulbs in them. I'm thinking about putting pansies in these for the winter, but they require water. I don't wanna overwater bulbs, you know, and rot them. And the photinias, it's on my list of things to do at least even them up a little bit. Maybe I'll do that about right now. Talk to you in a little bit. It's dry. It looks dry. They all got watered yesterday. Really, really surprised. Consistent watering. Let's see how this guy's doing. Nice and wet. Partially dry, partially wet. It's very hard to get the soil very consistent around.
off earlier. We'll see if it stays on this time. Due to heat, that is. Just want to shape them a little bit, if that's even possible. though right just a little bit I did want it to be a tree and it's supposed to block the trampoline so let's go to the other one see if I can't do the same thing there you could probably see that from where you're at I think I need to go stand in front of it I've been calculating irrigation this morning <laughs> trying to figure out how many cups because for me I can get a visual on a cup I want these to be tall, but not misshapen. How about that? All right, so basically it's this side. do any long-term damage or uh, not long-term I mean you can't really damage them but you know miss <laughs> deform it how about that one I think I want to try a few of these canes on the bamboo ultimately it says you have to divide them that would have to be done with the sawzall because that fills that little container there which is resin pretty hardy but I do imagine it's gonna break it someday anyway I'm take some of these dead ones out. Not that I've ever cut a bamboo, but oh, there we go. Because it might add some watering issues. So basically, I see myself as thinning them. Is I don't know if that's a real thing, but that's what I'm doing. I think the watering issue is resolved. I hope so. what I got going on the other one. I see there's a thin spot there, but those might grow in again. Not those particular canes, but another cane. That's much better. It gets more water, more shade, I think. get down in the weeds on that and um, at the roots because you know I think these canes need to be cut off at the roots. It is time to cut that gray's mist back again but let me wait for a 70 degree day. Let me just get that done. Maybe I did head these roses. Uh, 
lots of cutting back to do. Now I have to go find a garbage container, take these out front. Keeping it simple today. I know there's a lot more to do. And just to let you know, I don't make a living at this, so if I did, oh yeah, I should be out here eight hours a day working, especially if I was making six figures and then some. But I'm not, and I'm not making any money, and you know, thanks to you guys, I actually just get out here and work it all. Some days I'm like, nah. And then other days I'm like, well, you know, but you could get something done and put it on film and see if you can dress it up with some music and get something done. And so just doing the YouTube channel is helpful getting some gardening chores done. But I, I hate, you can see I'm pouring sweat. I just hate uh, getting so hot. I really do. I, I really want to garden in cool weather. Cooler weather? Yeah, I wanted to get more pansies planted today. I wanted to, um, I'm looking at the Greg's Mist thinking, yep, yeah, more of that could get cut back. Uh, I need to do better by the bamboo. I cut, I started cutting down at the base, but then on the other ones, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna cut what I can reach. And I need to get down to the base to give other things room to come in. And, uh, you know, just planting that one, uh, is it called a Tacoma? I don't know whether it's Capensis or whatever, but anyway, it's called Sparklet. And seeing that that wasn't getting enough water, and that seemed like a lot of hard work. And I don't know why, it shouldn't be. I thought it'd be easy. But you guys, does gardening seem hard sometimes? Uh, honestly, I, I really do attribute it to the heat, continuing heat. I was sitting inside Checking Google for various things, you know, plant this, how do you do that, how do you do this, and I wanted to get out here, which involved trucking into my bedroom, putting on the makeup for the camera, putting some sort of clothes on, and uh, coming out here and thinking about, you know, like prioritizing, not that there is a priority right now, I think everything is, I don't think any one thing is more important than the other at this point, everything's in survival mode, water is the most important, making sure everything's properly watered and monitoring the water to make sure it's getting to the right places. You know, I gotta go north and I'm already setting myself up for some water situations that I'm going to have to resolve again. There is a time just to sit in the garden. Isn't it?
Thank you for joining me for a few chores out here today. Talk to you soon.